Hey, what up guys? We're on the PC Battle Stations. Is your GPU backplate boring, just plain? Well, let's spice it up a little bit. Follow me. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to v1tech.com and then you go ahead and choose backplates. And from here, you can choose from a variety of different templates that they already have pre-made. Or what you can do is choose to create your own custom design here. So the first thing is click or drop images here. And what you can do is you can click here, brings up the browser, or you can just bring up a browser and drop the images here. So let's go ahead and click, brings up the browser, and then let's go Black Panther, View and Tech, and let's start with this one. So once you added your picture, you got a bunch of different variety of options here. So up here, you got the advanced editing here where it gives you some options. And uh, we got filters, color manipulation, all that stuff here. And uh, you can also go in, um, there's a start guided tour. Uh, you can go ahead and center snap it. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and move this around. And this kind of gives you kind of a visual representation of you know the backplate or the GPU itself and what uh, the backplate or the picture would look on the backplate here. And then um, you also have uh, transform, uh, position, you can move up, move down, reset. Uh, and also these buttons down here are undo and then you know, redo. Um, and then also when you move the picture around, you also have these little icons too, that what you can do is you can go ahead and you can create a copy of that. You can go ahead and rotate right here. Let's move this up here. And then right here, you can go ahead and kind of move it in and out. And then here, uh, this little button, obviously, you can trash it. So it looks like we got a couple of copies here. Um, so we go ahead and trash that. And then it looks like this is, uh, we're gonna probably want to go ahead and move this in. Um, let's bring this all the way out here. And then just so you know, uh, the line right here is where the light strip will be. So there'll be no RGB on this top part right here uh, because that's where the actual light strips are. And then um, the closer to the light strip, so you got these bright points right here, uh, the color that's closest to the light strips will actually show brighter and then farther away uh, will show a little bit dimmer here. You're going to want to have a higher resolution image uh, rather than uh, you know a lower resolution and try to scale up. So what you're going to want to do is you want to have a higher resolution so it's easier to scale down and keep the good quality picture. Because if you have a lower resolution and you uh, stretch it out, it gets kind of grainy and pixelated. So make sure you always try to get the highest resolution picture. Let's say minimum is probably about a 720p for an image. The file format should be a JPEG or a PNG. Um, printer can print up to about 600 dpi. All right, I kind of like where that's located. I'm just going to show you a couple different options of what you could also do. Uh, the tab over here, you can also add text. So you can go ahead and add something, uh, you know, where it says Black Panther. And you can add that text. And then you can uh, do the same with this. You can go ahead and kind of move this around. Also up here, it has the color. So if you want to do white, uh, we can go ahead and do white or any kind of other color here. And then we can uh, go ahead and transform, we can position, uh, reset if we kind of screw everything up, uh, you know, different font, and then a font size and line height, and all kinds of different options here. So that's the text. And this text will be transparent. It's best if you want this to be really bright, you know, choose white because that is the brightest with RGB. And then um, so you can go ahead and you can also request it to be semi-transparent with a different color. Make sure you clarify in the notes all this stuff if you want specifics and uh, they can go ahead and do that for you. It's very important that you kind of communicate with those in the notes. Text closer to the RGB light strip will shine brighter, kind of like what I was saying. So if you want it to be really bright, uh, put it right next to where this light strip will be at in this little area up top. Uh, a little bit dimmer as the further you go away from that. All right, the next tab over here is the manage layers. So, you know, like you can go ahead and have add multiple layers to this. Uh, let's say I didn't want the text, you know, I just kind of wanted uh, the art. And uh, so I can go ahead and delete that so we can manage all this. So we got the base, the Black Panther picture right here. And the base sits underneath. You can also change the color of that too, to whatever you want purple and you can see the base that kind of sits underneath but you know we just want to go ahead and uh, 
disregard that base color and we want to go ahead and just uh, have that picture right there. The next tab over is a choose from already uh, set designs. So you can go in here and you can choose, you know, if uh, you don't have a picture or you just kind of want to choose one of their already set templates or these designs that they have here. Uh, there's a lot of different designs. Um, you can go and choose and look through here. All right, so let's say we're happy with that and that's all we want basically. We just want that picture, uh, nothing else, pretty easy. Uh, then we just go down here and we wanna go ahead and choose our options. And by default, it's the make entire backplate design, you know, ARGB. Uh, so this whole thing will be, you know, lit up. Um, which will be pretty cool and like I said the brighter colors will shine or the lighter colors of colors like white will shine brighter this is because of the UV reactive ink they now use you know white is the brightest so when you don't have any RGB on graphic won't appear to be transparent at all but when you turn the RGB on then it will glow due to that process and so that is the default. So this other option is remove RGB LED lighting. So we don't want any RGB, we don't want this to light up. And when you choose make one color specific ARGB, you know, this is for like a text, logo lighting, you know, a solid graphic, you know, it's based on colors. So let's say if you have one section, a text, logo, or image with all white or whatever color, you know, the text or logo can be made white for brightest color or another specific color and will be semi-transparent and backlit rather than a clear cutout. And then we want to go ahead and make multiple areas. There's multiple different colors. And I'll show you an example of that here in a little bit. All right, so this option is to remove this SLI NV cutout. So by default, there's a little cutout right here, and then you can remove that. So this option right here is add rear IO clearance cutout for a mini ITX build. And I uh, believe on that is about an inch and a half by inch and a half in the top left for the rear IO. And then for the RAM clearance for the mini ITX. And I believe that is a half inch off the whole back of the back plate for RAM. And then this option, get an email design proof. Uh, basically what you're looking at here is kind of like a pre-production It's kind of just like estimated what it would look like because when you actually submit it they'll actually kind of uh, manipulate it and make it look good but if you're really picky and you want a pre-production proof of the design you go ahead and click on this and uh, they will go ahead and email you you know pretty much what it will look like all right so after we choose that I'm good with having all that stuff uh, choose your GPU uh, so we're going to go ahead and select mine for this build, and this is uh, 20, uh, 2070 Super, and then it is Asus, and then it is Dual, so it looks like that. There you go. You also can, if they don't have it for whatever reason, you can go ahead and click here to enter it manually. Um, you can go ahead and enter, you know, what GPU model is, you know, you can also give them specific dimensions and they can go ahead and cut it out too. You know, providing a direct link to your card is even better. All right, I added that one to cart and I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, kind of what they're talking about when you want to choose, make one color specific area. So it's basically talking about one color. And so we're going to go ahead and add, uh, bring up this one as a good example of the one color. Well, I'll show you actually. So this would be an example of one area uh, that I want RGB. So what I want is the middle part. I just want to go ahead and I want the purple to basically be RGB and that's it. And so this is for text, logo, lighting, solid graphic, you know, it's based on color. So you only want one area, one colored area. Uh, to kind of be RGB. So if you have one section, text, logo, image, all with white or whatever color, you know, the text or logo can be made white for brightest color or another specific color and will be semi-transparent and backlit rather than a clear cutout like mine because of the new process. This is due to a new reactive ink they use to grab the light and make it brighter. So white is the brightest. Now this is a good example to use the notes. So I would go down here and make the purple, area in the middle mask and text area glow and keep the purple color so go ahead and order that so this is a good example of make multiple specific areas rgb and basically they're talking about multiple colored areas so i got two areas i want rgb and they're different colors so you choose this 
you want those areas to glow. Uh, they charge more for this because they have to go in and mask off multiple areas to glow. There's a lot more, you know, manual process in here that they have to go ahead and uh, tweak and make it to work. You know, it has to be an exact line for the graphic designer to select and distinguish the difference, you know, between the two colors. You can't trace out, you know, if it has like kind of a gradient or feathering or glow because it's a gradual flow of different colors. Very hard for that person, graphic designer, to go in there and distinguish between those two colors. Uh, so basically, it's a lot easier uh, to make sure that there's really distinguished colors. And like you see here, where you have the purple and yellow inside the character's glow. Um, so it's pretty distinguished and very important here to use the notes. So in this case, what I would do is I would go ahead and make the purple and yellow inside the character's glow. Keep the background purple and yellow. Make the black lines RGB, but not the black inside the characters. So very important to kind of communicate what you actually want so it's easier for them to go ahead and do that for you so they're not confused. Remember the brightness on the back plate depends on the ambient lighting in the room. You know, so having a lot of lights on in your room and inside your case, you know, may affect the total brightness of the back plate. You know, kind of like turning on a light in the middle of a sunny day. So turning on that light when it's dark will make the light more noticeable. All right, I just placed my order. Let's see what happens behind the scenes. All right, 
Just got it in the mail. Excited. Let's open this bad boy up. I think it looks way better with the GPU backplate. Kind of spices it up a little bit, kind of adds some personalization to your PC. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with, so hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, shoot me a whole picture of your PC, the GPU backplate, actually your whole setup. Excited to see what you guys have. And I'm Ryan with PC Battle Stations, and we'll see you guys in the next one.